Hello, my little acorn crop. We're back again for a haircut. So for this haircut, you will need, or at least what I used, is a pick, a fine-toothed comb, scissors, and I think I only had three clips. So I am parting my hair. Most of the hair on the crown is separated out. And then the next, what? What is that? A quarter? I don't know. Is separated out and placed on my head. Oh, and I forgot the cardboard. So you need the cardboard to be able to measure how long your hair is. We'll see you in a minute. I place the cardboard next to my scalp and place the hair on top of it and then gently use my fingers to sandwich that hair and there I know how much to cut. And this will be imperfect. <laughs> Pretty much like everything about myself. So I tucked the hair in the back of my shirt and now I'm grabbing the next bunch of hair to cut. It's probably a little better view of how this all happens. My the size of my mohawk is dictated by the vehicles I drive. So <laughs> While it would be cool to have a huge one, um, I can't because I wouldn't be able to drive. And it would also be more of a pain to get up, more expensive, so this is about the size I'm comfortable with. So now my mohawk widens up right there, and so that's why it's two pieces. And snip, snip, snip. And it's good to have good scissors for this because if you're using crummy scissors it it's just that much more difficult so yes and you're getting a good view of the tattoos on my arm too um i would say sorry about that but that i think those tattoos are cool so we're cutting the next side so and this whole process took me about 17 minutes at least that's how long the video was <laughs> initially before I sped it up I wish I was this fast at cutting it yes so the tattoo on my arm which I've never mentioned probably is from the ossuary at Sedlec which is in the Czech Republic that's what the skull and bones are. It's supposed to be skulls on a pile of like femur and arm bones. And when I first had it done, it looked, <laughs> my roommate said it looked like boobs and penises. <laughs> so for a little while, because it was just the, the very outline and not any kind of shading. So for a little while, I wandered around with this thing on my arm that looked like a bunch of random boobs and penises. It was it was pretty funny. So yeah, almost done. Cutting the other side. And when I mentioned the expense, I each mohawk cost me probably about ten dollars. Well, excluding electricity, but with the hairsprays that I use um yeah the, the got to be glued hairspray and then the colored hairspray now I try to you know save up on hairspray at Halloween and buy as many the day after Halloween as I can find on sale and about that so Walmart usually has their stuff on sale right after Halloween but spirit it takes a while so you can't just go to spirit right after Halloween and then go buy like whatever you might want to buy from there <laughs> so I'm almost done now I don't have the little sideburn things like the um, folks with death hawks do I just think that would probably look silly on me and probably irritate me so I've never bothered to try and grow those in maybe I will at some later date so there's a good view of how I do this right kind of walk my fingers up the cardboard, pull the cardboard out, and then just give it a little trim. And so I use the pick to get most of the tangles out, but then I use the finer tooth comb to 
pull the hairs straighter when I'm doing the actual cutting of it. And what I'm doing here, which you can't really tell, is I'm combing my hair all over to the side and then I am trimming any outliers that I can see. But of course I didn't have the camera really set up. And I found some right there. So just a little tiny bit of hair. Snip, snip. I'm trying to keep my head like all level so I can see <laughs> if there are any outliers so I can top those off. And the other thing you can do is put your mohawk straight up and cut it. And with that, good night America, wherever you are.